weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Blustery day across North Alabama. We had gusts peak at 45 miles per hour this afternoon in Huntsville. Several other locations had gusts around 40 miles per hour at times today. That wind is a long gone at this point. We are much calmer now than we were just about six hours ago. Current wind speeds generally around 10 miles per hour, give or take a few. So it should stay that calm, if not be calmer as we head into the overnight hours. Lightning winds and that will be our theme moving forward here is fairly calm conditions Friday through this upcoming weekend out of variable directions, but the, the theme will be not nearly as blustery uh, for the next several days as what we saw earlier today. Let's get a look at the way 31 sky cam network brought to you by Thompson roofing and construction. Uh, we do have clear skies out there right now, and that is allowing temperatures to tank in a hurry compared to where we were this afternoon. We are down to 50 in Gunnersville. The rest of us in the 40s. It is 48 in Huntsville, 45 in Athens, down to 43 in Lawrenceburg, and just that subtle breeze is making it feel even a little cooler than that. Overnight lows will be in the 30s. We'll fall to 35 in Fort Payne, 36 in Decatur, and 35 your forecast low tonight around the Shoals. Highs back to the low and mid 50s on Friday. That is pretty close to average for this time of the year. We have not seen uh, near normal temperatures recently. It's been above average, but that will change as we head into Friday and really the foreseeable future. It will be pretty seasonable highs on Saturday in the mid 50s. We're back to the low 50s as we close out the weekend on Sunday. And let's go and take a look at your uh, way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. We are rain free and that's how things will stay tonight on Friday and to kick off the weekend, but we do eventually have some solid rain chances coming our way later in the weekend. As for Friday, little high level cloud cover might filter the sun, but it's not going to completely block it out. Should be a fairly pleasant day tomorrow. Uh, again, a little sun early in the day on Saturday gives way to building clouds on Saturday afternoon. By the time we get to Saturday night, it will be our next chance at rain starting for a lot of us, maybe around 10 or 11 o'clock on Saturday evening. And it will be a fairly rainy night Saturday night with passing showers. No thunderstorms expected, though. That is the good news on during the day Sunday again, off and on showers possible, generally on the light side, nothing terribly heavy, and that may linger into Sunday night. And if we do have lingering showers on Sunday night, there is at least some potential that we get a few wet snowflakes uh, to mix in with those cold rain showers. We'll keep a close eye on that rain totals likely hovering around a half inch. Some of you will get closer to a quarter inch. It's not going to be a terribly heavy rain, but uh, a nice douse of rain coming our way as we head into uh, Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, a bigger system that could bring us thunderstorms will be heading our way Tuesday into Wednesday next week. Looks like the snow stays north of us, but we will have a good shot at at least some heavier rain, maybe some thunderstorms as well. Once that system passes us by, even colder air settles in. We're looking at highs down to the 40s for the second half of next week.